What's up guys, Josh bringing another great video for you guys today. Um, I'm actually at um, McDonald's right now. I go nice and look on nice and good. Um, I got a whisper right now because there's a whole bunch of people here still. And I don't want to disturb them. Um, I'm here for my job interview here at McDonald's. And I hope I get it. Because at Wendy's it was not working out real good. Uh, it's been a while since I actually um, got a new job, and also I've been recording. But also, if you're new to my channel, hello and welcome, and smash that like button and hit that subscribe if you haven't already. If you're new to my channel, um, also I've been I've been a little busy right now working with the second half the second intro that I got for the channel and uh, I've been real busy getting some stuff done with the moped and I got a couple of things done too which I'll show you that later in, the, in a later video and um, also I have an announcement that my dad will not be moving in with me he'll be sitting up there and chill coffee he wants me and my X to work things out and so far it has been going a little bit better uh, she has been looking out of getting a job and my dad said because of all the history me and her have that he wants me and her to work things out so uh, well they're going to be uh, coming out here you guys in a little bit and next time you see me I will be I will be walking home and I'll let you guys know of how the interview went. Hey you guys, I'm back. Just got done with my interview a little bit ago and I'm a little bit fur further than I wanted to to start this film but had to cross a couple of uh, freeways to get over here and to my side of town. Well, interview went pretty good as I would say but they said they'll call me if they're interested which means I know what that means so I'm still going to keep looking um hopefully I mean who you knows maybe they'll change their mind maybe they'll decide to say hey we're going to go ahead and hire you or who knows but I'm going to be home pretty soon and decided to go ahead and do a couple of uh, dumpster diving so we're going to see this place here looks abandoned too you guys I mean I don't know if you can see ah I can see this place here is abandoned so I don't know might be a good place to explore and I'm looking down the alley right down here there's nothing down here so I don't keep on uh, going home yeah it looks like it's abandoned dumpster right there but it's all locked up so <sighs> well Interview did went pretty well. I mean, I could say that for myself. Interview went did really well, and I'm actually a little bit nervous if I do end up getting this job because I mean it's pretty good. You know what I mean? Ah, oh, jeez. Oh man, it's getting almost down to my block anyway. So, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and include this part of the video and i'll get back to you guys later on in the day hey guys it's a little bit later on in the day and i'm back home i made it home okay um like i said before it's been a little bit a while that i have been uh doing a pre-recording video because the reason why i only go live because basically it takes like that for my videos to upload and it doesn't take like forever 
to upload, but let me just show you guys of the DeLorean right now. Um, let me get it uncovered first. Now, all right, I'll set you guys there for a minute. Now, basically, all of this is basically look like the way it is right now. Uh, I just happened to put this right on, and I got the receiver right here, the transceiver, or just transceiver. I don't know. It's been a long time since I've been doing something like this. But basically, I got this installed, and this actually works just fine. Now, also, the battery, I happened to show a little bit a while back, it actually still works. It hasn't blown up or nothing, so that's pretty good. Um, next thing, basically, pretty much coming up, because I got no income right now, I will be having my income... Hopefully, I'll be getting this job pretty soon. But let me go ahead and hook this guy, hook this up for you guys, so I can show you. Hook that up, and hook the battery up. And uh, hook the motor up a little bit right there. There you go, that way you guys can see it, actually. Now, I have been brainstorming of where I'm going to put the uh, receiver. So, I'm going to go ahead and turn this on. Find the on switch. Here it is. See? Light comes right on. Blinking. So, basically, everything's working pretty much good. Now basically if I actually turn the wheel, it does turn. So basically, this thing's alive. Looks like this here is a little bit loose. So I'm going to go ahead and tighten that down a little bit with something. I don't know what I'm going to tighten it up with, but yeah, that is loose. So, and also, basically, it does come alive. So, this is exactly 100% functional RC car right here, 1 8 scale. I can go ahead and disconnect everything. I never keep the battery connected because I don't want the battery to blow up. But basically, I just keep it for safety reasons. And I'll go ahead and disconnect the motor. Now, I will not be able to put the rest of this in until a little bit later. So, basically what I'm going to be getting is I'm going to be getting the front plate right here. The other... The front fenders, I like to call them fenders, but I don't think they are, I think, I think they are fenders. And also these right here, I will not be getting the back ones until the month after, because I am a month behind. So basically, that's all working on pretty good. That's all coming together. I do keep this cloth on here, no any dust or anything won't get on it. Cover this up real quick. Alright. Now basically what I have been saying is that... Um, oh yeah, I wanted to show you guys this a little bit right here. I do happen to got these on here. Now I did not use these. I did not use this. But I did however use these ones and this. Because this is where the part of it is going to have to be attached and bolted to. So this I had to use. I wasn't going to plan on using it, but I had to. Now, one thing, uh, you kind of realize that my dad have not moved in because he wants me and her to work things out and get back together because we have a lot of years together. Well, 
I do not want to do that. The only thing I want to do was just go through with the divorce and find someone new. Well, basically, that's not going to happen because some of the girls I have been talking to, they either want to get to know me first, and then they will ask me for a gift card. Which basically, I'm... S and here's the thing, you guys. I hear this story so many times that I'm sick and tired of hearing it. And this is why. They said that, oh, I got some finances that I have. That my parents left for me when they died. And I told every single person that told me the exact same story. That I heard that. So much times before that I'm sick and tired of it and I'm done. So basically, I report them and they are getting shut down for good. So be aware, you guys. If you guys are actually single and you're doing that online dating site thing or whatever. Or meet someone on Facebook or Instagram or whatever. And they tell you the exact same story that, oh... My parents died on a car crash or I got some finances that I have like over a hundred grand in there and I have 12 houses. I'm like, wait a minute. If you have all this stuff right here, that means you are super rich. So basically, I'm not falling for it. And don't you fall for it either, you guys, because it is a big scam. What is it, bud? Not right now, bud. So, let me just tell you guys this. Don't fall for it. Because, basically, if they have all this money right here, and they can, and or they say, Oh, I cannot get it until I get married. I'm like, mm-mm. That don't make any sense. Because, basically, if you actually get married... Hang on for a minute, you guys. Sorry about that, guys. I had to take him out. Um, so, basically... If someone is asking you for that, or they're telling you the exact same story, it's nothing more but a big scam. And basically, if you video chat the person and they are real, real, and they want to meet you, that's fine. But basically, if they say, oh, I can only text or I can't video chat because my camera broke and all that. And they show you a picture of a broken phone. I'm like, well, wait a minute. I screenshot that phone on Bing and it's a big scam. So basically, don't bother contacting me no more. Because I just happened to get scammed. almost got scammed about five times with that right there. And let me tell you because I have something. I'm not falling for it, neither of you guys, so I'm giving you guys the information. That way, you guys will not be fall for it, I won't fall for it, and nobody out there won't fall for it. So, if anybody out there, and I'm saying this again, if anybody out there you meet um, happens to say... I got some finances that my attorney, I'm like, wait a minute, your attorney? Basically, if you have all this money, you can actually pay for it yourself, and you don't need... Because I happen to have a girl like that that actually wanted me to go f and get a $500 loan, or a f over a $1,000 loan, just to get that out. And basically, I know what that is. If I actually go out and get like that kind of a loan... That means I'll be stuck paying for it. I won't get a dime back. So basically, don't fall for it, you guys. So be a fair warning. Do not fall for it. Don't even come across it. So basically, I am giving this one more chance with my wife right now. Because of the situation... But if I happen to do meet someone in person, I will take in a heartbeat. But basically, if I don't, I don't. Mm -hmm. But things has been gotten a little bit better. 
since she moved back. Um, kind of a little bit retarded of me to ask her to come back or take her back. But, I don't know. But I'm giving this one last shot. Because basically, if she does this stuff to me again, I am not going to. But basically, she does know that I do got Doom back. She knows that I got a couple of my games back. She knows I got... Actually, she doesn't know I got Terminator back. But she knows that I do got Doom back. And she told me, are you going to give that to my brother? I'm like, hell no, I'm not giving that to your brother. I'm not giving that to nobody. So, I'm going to give this one last shot. I will get, keep you guys informed. I'm going to go ahead and clue this video. I hope you guys yeah. enjoy it. And I will talk. I'll uh, do a video probably tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I, do have, I do happen to got a couple of things coming in the mail that I will be waiting for. Um, I will be waiting for McDonald's to call me back. So basically, I uh, love you guys and uh, take care.